can't believe that Brett gets to be the Easter Bunny. I was begging to do it, but corporate said that anyone who asks more than three times can't because of pedophile stuff. Hate to agree with corporate, but that policy feels right. It's Easter fever at our place right now. Jerry's been practicing his finding skills for the egg hunt. He's, he's getting there. Being newlywed sounds so fun. You must be doing it all the time. Uh-huh. All that sex and no baby. When's Jerry gonna put the bun in the uterus? Fair question. Uh, but actually, when we're ready, we're gonna adopt. There's so many kids out there who need homes. Plus, we love our cat and we adopted her. Right, as opposed to birthing her yourself. Oh, that is wonderful. The, a family is the greatest gift that you can give a child. And, and it makes sense, because, you know, it can be hard to get pregnant at our age. Oh, I think I'm actually younger than you. Oh, OK. Younger, taller, sure, whatever you need to tell yourself, Sander. Tony! Thank you for coming. Sandra, this is Tony, one of my original foster kids. But the family he's living with is moving to Canada, you know, and Jerusha and I have our hands so full with Rose. Anyway, you were saying how you and Jerry wanted to adopt a child, so? So she should adopt this gentleman? Um, wow, thank you, but- Okay, look. I know you weren't planning on adopting right away, but Tony is such an incredible kid. He's a straight A student, captain of the baseball team, and he makes an amazing grilled cheese sandwich. I butter both sides of the bread. Oh, so good. Well, I just don't know if- Okay, look, you don't have to decide right now, but tell you what, why don't we all have lunch and see if any sparks fly, huh? Oh, okay. So Tony, Sandra is from Hawaii. Cool. Do you surf? No, I've never been to the beach. But I've seen people surfing, like in pictures. Oh, radical. Hey, sorry to interrupt your surprise adoption. Oh, no, you missed that. They were just getting along like gangbusters. They have so much in common. Like, they're both pet lovers. Yeah, Sandra has a cat, and Tony has an aquarium. Tell her how many sharks you have, Tony. Three. Oh, um, what are names? They don't have names, they're sharks. Yeah, yeah. Look, Sandra, I gotta say something here. You know you don't have to adopt that child. Man, really, he's a full-grown man just because Glenn wants you to. I just feel bad because he seems like a good kid and he doesn't have parents, you know? Yeah, but he could have kids. So, what have I gotta do to put that boy into your home today, huh? You know, Glenn, I really, really want to be a mom, and I'm definitely planning to adopt, but I wasn't planning to do it today. Oh, no, of course not. No, adoption isn't that simple. It can be a long process. But as a first step, I was able to work my connections with the foster agency, and they can arrange for Tony to sleep at your house starting tonight. Oh. It's good to have connections. You know. Glenn, you can't expect her to take this kid into her home without talking to Jerry first, right, Sandra? Yeah, I should really discuss this with him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Why don't you call him now? Oh, now? Um, okay. Hi, it's me. Glenn wants us to adopt the 17-year-old and his sharks. Uh-huh, three of them. Yep, you're right. I'll tell him. Thanks. He's okay with it. <gasps> Are you sure? Because he could have said anything and we wouldn't know. So I talked to Jerry and he said we could probably fit your shark tank in the kitchen if we take out the oven. Cool. Who's Jerry? He's your new dad. Oh. Can we stop at Panda Express? Sure. Mom, stop. 